Hello traders, today is Wednesday, October 30th. We're going to look at the Sonic trading system by Day Trade to Win. I'm going to show you two, three, four signals, some trades, the winners, the losers. I'm also going to show you how to manage this, especially for those of you who are on a funded account or a prop firm with Apex or any other trading firm. Remember that there are some rules they have to abide by. Now, before we begin, remember that trading is risky. Please don't trade with funds you cannot afford to lose. There are risks involved with trading. So using the Sonic trading system, one thing you should know is that it's based on price action. It's available for TradingView as well as NinjaTrader. And what I'm looking at is a one minute chart on the E-mini S&P. So very simple, we're using the E-mini. You can use the micros if you want, or the NASDAQ. And you can see that this short trade here is currently in a losing position. The prior two signals that were short were winners, but this one here is turning out to be a loser. Not every trade is going to be a winning trade. What's most important is to follow the risk to reward ratio. If the trade looks like there's a much larger loss than a target, then don't take the trade. You have total control when using the Sonic system. You can actually get in at a better price, and that's what I absolutely recommend doing in a situation like this. I want to take two more trades. I want to see where this goes. I want to take a look at multiple signals, not just one trade here and one trade there, and the results of that. If you compare what happens after four, five, six trades, that is where you want to be as a trader. Is the system worth trading for today? Is it not? So we're going to look at a culmination of consecutive trades, three, four, five, six, to see if we should even be trading on a day like today on a Wednesday. Sometimes on Wednesdays we have FOMC, we have the Fed. So be alert when it comes to news events. Now, if you take a look here, this red text that you see here on the chart, that's the news indicator. I had an email this morning where they asked about the news indicator. Can you change the settings? And so you can make the news text any different colors as large as you want. And that's what you're seeing here. This is me adding the uh, the text nice and big so I can see what the news is and seems like only for tomorrow October 31st okay there's a trade here to go long I'm gonna walk you through this trade I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what we're doing how we're doing it for the traders who are in funded accounts this is how you protect your money you can see that the market went down first a perfect opportunity to go long this is a long trade at a better price 58.80, 58.79, even 58.81. As long as you're going in at a better price, that is first and foremost. I actually entered right at the exact price the signal the Sonic gave me. So 58.81, 75 is the exact signal based on the software. I could have got, I could have got in if I just waited a moment at a much better price always try for that in all the videos that we do at day trade to win we focus on price action and trade management trade management is really important if the trade doesn't make sense if the stop is too big then skip it it's not worth taking the trade if you're entering at a better price closer to your stop where the stop is small the target is larger that is where you want to be any type of trade day trade swing trade it doesn't matter it's cryptocurrencies e-mini nasdaq oil it's all the same price action is universal now i'm looking for the market to move up to 58.84 quarter remember the last one two three trades one was a loser two were a winner we're on the fourth trade here in a row so we're looking at multiple trades in a row to see what the sonic could do and after we have four or five trades under our belt you really should think about whether or not we should continue if we're up for the day stop take a break you don't have to continue trading all day long, whether you're looking at the E-mini or the NASDAQ or the oil or the micros. Take a few trades, five, six, reevaluate the, the day, the position, and then you can continue. But definitely sitting at the computer and just taking every single trade isn't the right way to do this. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using TradingView or NinjaTrader. The signals are the same. Follow the targets and follow the stops. The entries are provided for you. And always try for a better price. A couple of ticks. The risk-reward ratio will greatly increase. And now we have a long trade, 58 84.50. So you see I immediately placed a limit order. You don't use market orders. I'm adjusting it to see if I can get filled even a tick or two better. So you can see the entry is 58.84.50 and my limit order is at 58.84. You see, I'm taking 
an opportunity to grab two extra ticks if I can take it, if I can get it. Now the risk to reward ratio is even better. I'm making more money if it hits my target than I am losing. So think about price action, think about trade management and why we're always trying to evaluate where's my stop, where's my target. And we can do this with the Sonic system because it's not an automatic or a bot where it just places it for you. For the funded traders, the Apex traders, everybody else who has prop accounts, this is really important because they do not allow bots or automatic trading systems. They want you to place the trade and this is exactly what this is. You place the trade manually and you manage it. You can have the ATM strategy place the targets and the stops for you. So that's semi-automatic, but you're entering into the trade at whatever price the system tells you or better. Now it's going in my favor. You can close the position. You can trail a stop. You can um, tighten up your stop. You can do all those things if you want. I'm going to keep this exactly as is. I want to really see this play out. You have to have patience as a trader. You have to watch it, manage it, and focus on what's happening. All right, I hit my target, but you didn't get filled. In a situation like this, I, re I always recommend that you don't let this turn into a losing trade. If it if you're using a limit order to exit the trade instead of a market if touched, the difference is a market if touch touches converts to market. But I'm using limit orders on the exits, on the on the entries as well as the profit target exits. If you're using the roadmap or the Atlas line as a filter with the Sonic, fantastic. Remember, in the trading room, you have the opportunity to ask these questions. We include a live trading room with the Sonic. So if you're in mentorship, if you have the roadmap, if you're using the Atlas line or the trade scalper, use it in conjunction with the Sonic system. See if there are any signals that are going long, for example. So if you have two or three other signals that are indicating long, that makes the trade a high probability setup. Now, you can use a Sonic on its own by itself. It works fantastic. I can see that out of the three, four, five trades that we have, we have one loser. So this is a block of trades all in a row with one losing trade. I think that is a good way to analyze a trading system. And that target was hit. And let me just go back here. We have one, two, three, four, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five trades five trades in a row. Now you see the power of the Sonic system. Want to learn more? Visit daytradetowin.com and get started with a free member account, which includes access to our trials, including the ABC software. Start learning the right way by using price action and avoid using conventional indicators. We offer unique strategies and proprietary software, including the Sonic system. Join Accelerated Mentorship and get instant access to all our software. Let's get you set up in the next training.